Hi, I'm Wendy with Learning Resources. Let's look at hands-on standards, photo illustrated lessons for teaching with math manipulatives. It's a professional handbook series for classroom teachers or even math specialists. There are four books in the series. They're just based on grade level, grades pre-K, K, grades two, three, three, four, and grades five, six. All of the lessons in the books are closely tied to the NCTM standards, which of course align with your state standards. So you'll see here all that coverage across the five different math strands and then all the individual sub-skills in math. All of the books really help you take advantage of typical math manipulatives that you probably already have in your classroom. There are kits of manipulatives available for purchase that go along with these books, but you probably already have the manipulatives that are being used. You'll see here, this is a lesson about color tiles. The lessons really help engage children um, in high interest ways through multi-sensory activities using the manipulative. And as you can see from the photos, they really do help kids get or grasp almost literally those concepts in math that are sometimes so abstract for children to get. Let's take a look at a lesson for grades one through two. This is an elapsed time lesson, so we're introducing a higher level concept but at a very early age. So this lesson will teach you how to do that. The left hand side of the page is the uh, area where you follow to introduce the lesson and then to extend the lesson afterwards. The right hand side of the page is the step in the middle, so that's the true hands-on activity part of the lesson. So let me walk you through it. On the left page, you see the typical things you'd expect to find in a lesson plan, your objective, your skills, but you also get, and it's very transparent here, exactly which um, standards are going to be covered in this lesson, so you know you're right on target. This lesson's about elapsed time, and at the top of the page, you get background information, so you can brush up. Now, these books are really for the mainstream classroom teacher who wants to become more comfortable teaching science, so this background information can be pretty important. The next thing you do is follow the yellow arrow to the right-hand side of the page. So you're going to have students work in small groups, and they're going to explore the concept of elapsed time. And they do so through, right off the bat, a real life story problem. So they learn why they should even be learning this particular skill because hey it applies to real life. There are detailed explanations of what the students should be doing in each step of the activity but even better you get a photo illustration so you know exactly whether or not the children are on task. Um, the students will be using a black line master during this activity. I'll flip forward just so you can see an, a close-up view of that here. It's a graphic representation of the clocks, and it's pencil paper, so you can use this as an assessment piece as well. My favorite part of the lesson is the look out feature, which is on the right-hand side of the page at the bottom here. This is kind of a look inside of a child's mind. It helps you anticipate problems that the child may encounter and uh, gives you tips on how to troubleshoot and help that struggling learner. So then you move back to the left page and you're going to come together as a whole group and you're going to talk about the triad activity, the exploration that just took place, and the students are going to discuss their solutions to the story problem. Next, you'll extend the activity right here. And then lastly, you're going to come full circle and have students practice the skill in a standardized way through a standardized test question here. So you can have the students um, do some figuring on a piece of paper if you'd like and answer the question on a piece of paper because then you have another record for assessment. But this standardized practice question as well as the pencil and paper black line masterpiece of the try it activity are really key because they help kids transition away from using the manipulative that they're relying on to just using pencil and paper. It's a great transition, helps them get ready for that pencil and paper test.